Hi there, everyone. This is Professor Ms. Moura Pence with a conclusion of the most recent lecture in American Studies 100, Introduction to American Studies. And this covers material from Module 3. I started this lecture on the 21st of March. And we had an in-class activity uh, on the next day. So I had to postpone this conclusion a little bit. So I'm finishing it up on March 28, 2023, Tuesday. So if you weren't able to attend class last week, please ask a friend, a classmate for the lecture notes. Okay, so we'll go to the next slide. All right, so it's very important to acknowledge the contributions of African American women to Reconstruction and before that to the abolitionist movement. So one person that absolutely must have recognition is Sojourner Truth, who was born in 1797 and died in 1883. And you see her pictured here. So she was an enslaved woman at one time. I believe this was in New York State. And the people who uh, purchased Sojourner Truth and, and dominated her life for a time, I believe they were Dutch immigrants. And therefore, when she learned English, she spoke with a Dutch accent. So there's a very famous speech that Sojourner Truth gave called, Aren't I a Woman? in which she asserts herself for women's rights as a black woman. This is important because the women's movement at that time was predominantly white. All right, so Sojourner Truth had to take a stand for herself and the community of African American women. So there are a couple of links here. Let me give these a try. Um, it's a good sources. One of them is from the National Park Service. The other is from the Sojourner Truth Project. I think, let's see, I, I did post on your Canvas Module 3 the Sojourner Truth Project link. So you can access that there. And I will post this link for the National Park Service. It's really good, okay? So we'll go to the next slide. Let me mention a few more important facets of Reconstruction. I, I have mentioned some of these before, but they are so vital that I wanna state them again. So here we go. The Freedmen's Bureau. You should know what this is by the time we're done with this module. The black codes also. Very good idea to know what they were. General time frame of when they came through, okay? Not necessarily an exact date, but to know pretty much the period in which these emerged, the black codes. The Ku Klux Klan that emerged also during Reconstruction as violent terroristic opposition to Reconstruction emerged in Tennessee. Jim Crow. So the segregation system that followed in the wake of the end of Reconstruction and the Redeemer governments. Uh, this is earlier, okay, um, than Jim Crow. 
All right. So the Redeemer governments, governments in southern states that were opposed to Reconstruction, governments that were made up completely of white southern Democrats who wanted to preserve racism in the South. All right, we'll go to the next slide. One of the great portraits of the great abolitionist and former enslaved person, Frederick Douglass. So, such a major part of this unit. And this week, uh, sorry, last week, we assigned the Reconstruction article. Okay? I'll have a few things to say about that. Next slide. All right, so... A few key points in the Reconstruction essay by Frederick Douglass. So one thing he was doing here is he was doing an answer to the midterm elections of 1866. All right, so President Lincoln had been reelected in 1864. He was assassinated in 1865. His vice president, Andrew Johnson, stepped up, but not, he didn't really step up. He stepped in and Reconstruction took a big, big step down. Douglas was angry about this. So this was a, and the 1866 elections, uh, were a response to, to um, Andrew Johnson, okay? So the 1866 election repudiated President Andrew Johnson. The results for his party, the Democratic Party, were bad. And it empowered the Republican Party. So please do remember that the Democratic Party at that time and the Republican Party at that time rather, rather different from how they are in 2003. So Douglas was trying to get an end to what he called the sham governments in the South. All right, so invalid governments, bogus governments, that did not want to carry out Reconstruction. He also wanted black men in the United States, he wanted them to be able to vote. Okay, all right, next slide. Jason Phillips, he wrote your article on Reconstruction in Mississippi. He works at West Virginia University where he is the Eberly Professor of Civil War Studies. He's written three books listed here, Looming Civil War, How 19th Century Americans Imagined the Future, 2018, Die Hard Rebels, The Confederate Culture of Invincibility, 2007, and Storytelling, History and the Postmodern South, Louisiana State University Press, 2018. So, excellent brief article focusing on how Reconstruction unfolded in Mississippi after the Civil War. Next slide. Okay, so in Mississippi, in this slide you get kind of the best of times and the worst of times. On the left, you get a picture of the state legislature in Mississippi at the height of Reconstruction. It's not easy to see, but there were many, many black men serving in Mississippi state legislature at that time. Later that changed. On the right, you get an early version of the Ku Klux Klan. So, obviously, they didn't want 
black men serving in the state legislature in Mississippi. We'll go to the next slide. Some key points from Jason Phillips' article. Reconstruction in Mississippi, 1865 to 1876. So, first phase of Reconstruction was called Presidential Reconstruction. Phillips talks about this in his article. So, time frame there, 1865, end of the Civil War, to 1867. The Freedmen's Bureau was established at this time. The Black Codes also emerged at this time. These were put into effect by white supremacists to stop Reconstruction. Radical Reconstruction took over from 1867 to 1876. This went much, much further than Presidential Reconstruction. There was much, much more participation by black men in democracy. So, you could say that the United States began to move toward becoming a true democracy at this point. But of course, there was violent resistance, the Ku Klux Klan, other groups. There was one known as the White Man's Party, not sugarcoating it there. These folks told people exactly what they were all about with that label. Okay, with this slide, very idealistic, optimistic about Reconstruction. Frederick Douglass in the middle, and you have two men flanking him, uh, Blanche Bruce on the left, and uh, on the right, I believe that his name is Schuyler uh, Revels, okay? Uh, I, it says for sure on the next slide. Sorry about that. It's kind of hard to read. And John Brown at the bottom of the uh, page in the middle. All right, so it's, uh, yeah, this, this uh, graphic is called Heroes of the Colored Race. It's from 1881, so after Reconstruction was shut down. So on the left, Branch, uh, Blanche Kelso Bruce, he was an elected official at the time, Frederick Douglass, and Hiram Rhodes Revels. Uh, he also was an elected politician, an elected official at that time. Also depicted were Abraham Lincoln, can't really see him there, James Garfield, President Grant, John Brown, and others. We'll go to the next slide. And that's the end of that lecture. So, I hope that helps. I appreciate you being a great audience. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.